Well, does this sound fair? A biological male swimmer shattering a New Jersey college record, but only after switching from the men's team to the women's. Megan Cortez Fields swam on Ramapo, Ramapo College men's team for three years before moving to the girls' team this season as a senior. The school swim team recently congratulating the transgender athlete on social media for breaking the school record in the 100-yard butterfly but later deleted the post, citing the need to, quote, protect their teammate from insulting comments. Mm. Now, you know, Jessica, what's really amazing to me is that the left, the party of the Equal Rights Amendment and choice, is so willing to allow women to be suppressed, oppressed, and erased by men. Does that make sense to you? No, it's, I also don't feel that it's accurate. And I don't think that this is a, a position of the left. Over 70% of Americans don't think that on the competitive level, that people who have transitioned, and we should be clear that the swimmer has met the NCAA's criteria in terms of uh, estrogen. So the hormone therapy has gone through. But this is an area where there's vast agreement. It is so different from gender-affirming care for young kids. Um, but I don't see this as a leftist policy. I, I just think well, it's insane. What do you think, Jesse? Is this a leftist policy? Well, no, because now Emma and I are interested in it. We did some financial planning, and <laughs> for Jesse Jr. to do a four-year stint at university is going to cost about $450,000. So we're going to be transitioning Jesse right into the high school, where he will be in the fall playing field hockey, swimming in the winter, and softball in the spring. <laughs> Three-letter athlete, by identifying as a Impressive. woman, he'll be going as Jessica. And then he will be getting a full ride to a Division I school where he's going to shatter every single female record, and you're not going to be able to do anything about it, Jessica. How dare you? How, don't, don't even start. Don't even start. Okay, Dana. Um, you know, they, the left talks about fairness for all and, and you know, everybody coming out equal. But uh, this is about discrimination. I think so. I mean, when you asked, is this unfair? I'm like, it's clearly unfair. It's outrageous. I also think it's completely uncomplicated. Like, I'm not going to talk. All of these other words mm, that people want to use about yeah. this, like, this, this is not complicated for me. This is outrageous. And I cannot believe that there are so many women in power who either have been professional athletes who have made a gazillion dollars and they're fine, they're retired, and, and they were in women's sports, and they were the pioneers in women's sports, and they will not stick up for these girls mm -hmm. who are, their opportunities are being taken from them. Money is being taken from them. They have decided just to, to talk about quiet quitting. That's exactly what these girls do. And imagine being the woman with the most power in the United States, Kamala Harris, the first woman vice president. And she will not say a word to stick up for these girls. I think it's appalling. You know, we should do, put all guys on outnumbered. One guy surrounded by four trans guys. Right. How would you okay. like that? Okay, you're yeah. the one lucky guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> last word, Brian. My last word will be quick. I always say to myself in complicated times in sports, how does cricket uh, decide what to do? And I, led, I looked that up, and cricket banned all transgender women from playing international cricket. I think you just make it say, listen. Like, we're not doing it, this. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's very simple. Uh, whatever, however you were born, you can compete. We're just not going to count you. And, and then we're going to get first four. And then the first woman comes in first. The first trans woman, get the first trans man can do what he wants. But you're just not allowed to compete. Okay. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.